Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is an editorial for this problem Fibonacci finding taken from Hacker. Oh, sorry, Hacker Rank. The problem is taken from Hacker Rank, and this problem is in continuation to the seventh lecture of the number theory series. So, if you haven't seen that seventh lecture, just go and check out that lecture, and then. Uh, if if you know recurrence relation and matrix exponentiation which I have uh, explained previously so you are good to go before starting the lecture if you wanna uh, help and help this channel grow financially you can uh, pay some donations and the description of the donation payment in is in the description so now about the problem so the problem is you are given first and second term of a recurrence relation and the nth term is defined as the sum of previous two terms uh, this is basically like Fibonacci series but the terms doesn't start from 1 1 it starts from a and b so you are given t test cases in each test case you are given three terms a b and n and you have to print the nth term of this Fibonacci series and we have to print of course the nth term modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 because the Fibonacci series grows exponentially. Now, uh, if we take a look at the sample test cases, t is 3, there are 3 test cases. The first series is this starting from 2 and 5 and we have to print the first term. First means this is uh, in the test case. In the problem it is taken zero base index uh, the indexes are indices are zero base so we have to print actually the second term here we have to print the third term and here we have to print the fourth term so if you take the starting two elements these uh, two and five the series would look something like this seven and then twelve and then nineteen so goes for this and this so we have to print the uh, index one element which is basically second element so what i'll be doing i'll simply increment it i'll doing it n plus plus so i'll printing second term which is five answer of this uh, answer of this is third term which is nine answer of this is the fourth term which is 17. so we won't be working with the zero base in a uh, system we would be working with one base system all you have to do is simply increment this so as you already know uh, in the matrix exponentiation lecture and after that we have studied how we can calculate the nth term of a recurrence relation using matrix exponentiation so you know that okay we can calculate this the nth term in log n time so the first thing uh, using matrix exponentiation is to find the transition matrix so if you have taken that lecture you might be familiar with this expression what this is this is a row matrix of base cases or base terms base terms are f1 and f2 the first two terms because first two terms are given and we have to print the n term if you multiply it with the transition matrix the result is f2 f3 that is the next terms uh, all this i have explained previously so i am not going into the details so the purpose is to find this the transition matrix so we know f2 and f3 are f1p plus f2 r if we multiply these two matrix ma matrices and f3 is equals to f1 q plus f2 s if you solve these two equations you will find uh, p is 0 and r is 1 if you replace p with 0 and r with 1 the left hand side and the right hand side becomes equal or equate and for the second equation if you print if you take q and s q and s to be 1 1 so f3 is sum of previous two terms and that is why q and s would be 1 so the transition mat matrix would be 0 1 1 1 after we have find the transition matrix all we have to do to find the n term first if n is 1 or 2 we can simply return these two terms i mean if n is 1 we will re return f1 if n is 2 we will return f2 of course if n is greater than that what we would do we would take the transition matrix calculate its power n minus 1 and then multiply these two and return the first term because first term would be the nth term of that Fibonacci series again this I have already explained in previous lecture so I am not going into the details now all we have to do is check if n is less than equals to 2 if yes 
then we would return the nth term that is either the first or the second term which would be the base case so we don't have to make any calculation otherwise we will calculate t that is transition matrix raised to power n minus 1 and then return the uh, first term of multiplication of these two first term would be f1 multiplied by 1 1 plus f2 multiplied with uh, 2 1 of transition matrix raised to power n minus 1 and that would be our fn the n term so enough talk let's just jump into the editor and code so let me make this a little bigger so you can see properly so what we are doing here we are taking t that's case and n the n term that we have to print so we uh, i've taken array of size 3 so that i have indices 1 and 2 so i am reading a and b in first and second indices and then i am reading n after that i am incremented it so it becomes one base indexing now get fib uh, is a function that is here that will return the nth term of this fibonacci series so how we do as i have already explained if n is less than equals to 2 simply return sorry simply return ar of n if n is 1 it would be 1 if n is 2 we would return second term otherwise uh, if you remember from matrix exponentiation uh, lecture first we would define the identity matrix and you know since the matrices are going to be of size 2 cross 2 so we can simply write here I've taken the identity matrix and this is the transition matrix all of size 3 cross 3 because I, I want indices from 1 to 2 so in identity matrix element 1 1 and element 2 2 would be 1 and the rest would be 0 that is element 1 2 and element 2 1 after identity matrix we have to define the transition matrix now transition matrix you can see is 0 1 1 1 so 0 1 1 1 so 1 1 element is 0 while the rest element of transition matrix which are this 1 2 and 2 1 and 2 2 all the elements are 1 after doing this uh, we have to calculate the transition matrix raised to power n minus 1 so let's replace n with n minus 1 and this is the power we have to calculate so if you remember from matrix exponentiation we do while n that is while n is greater than 0 if n is odd that what we do we do uh, i is equals to i into t and n minus minus if you remember we do this right so to do i is equals to i into t we we had defined multiplication uh, function which takes two arguments and yes their dimension dimension is two so we, i'll simply return uh, pass two and then n minus minus else what we do we do t is equals to t into t that is multiply t with t itself and dimension are two and n would be n is equals to n by two right so if you remember this this is nothing but the code that i have explained in matrix exponentiation so if n is pos uh, if n is odd what we are going to do we are going to calculate i is equals to i into t otherwise we are going to calculate t is equals to t into t and we would replace n with n by 2 so now it is important to write down this mul that is multiplication uh, function which takes two arrays multiplies them and uh, save the result back into a so to calculate that uh, calculate that yeah lli is long long end i have defined here uh, lli is basically long long end because the elements are of order 10 to the power 9 so their multiplication can go out of bound of integers so i'm taking long long end which can take as large as i guess 10 to the power 19 so that is why result of size dimension plus one dimension plus one so it would be three cross three now if you remember 
the matrix multiplication uh, algorithm it is n cube you run a loop i from one to dimension then you run a loop j from one to dimension and then the result of ij is equals to zero and then you run a loop k from one to n that is dimension and then k plus plus result of what we would do we would like to do this plus equals uh, multiplication of a i k multiplied with b k j now the problem here is that we have to calculate it modulo transfer 9 plus 7 because this may of course go out of bound of integer or uh, in integer or even long long in because uh, Fibonacci numbers grows exponentially so if we'll do directly this then it is likely to go uh, integer of overflow so instead of this instead of writing this sorry we do LLI x is equals to since in the result uh, we have to add this so what we will do we will take this and take it modulo already and mod is actually transfer 9 plus 7 so first we would calculate these two and take their modulo and then result of i j is since we have to add it into result of i j so result of i j is equals to result of i j plus x and then take their modulo so this way we can handle a uh, modulo part after calculating it of course instead of running that loop i'll simply run this loop this looks better to me we will copy all the values from result to back into array a again this i have explained in previous lecture so i'm not going to explain so what we do we would calculate a into b which have dimension dim and then we would save the result back into array a so array a would get updated so this array each time would get updated so it would become i is equals to i into t and it would become t is equals to t into t and after doing that what we have to do we have t raised to power n saved in i basically i contains the result now i contains t raised to power n minus 1 and after we have calculated t raised to power n minus 1 all we have to do we have to take the first element multiply it with uh, i11 plus second element i21 and then that would be the nth term so to do that x is equals to uh, ar of 1 that is f first term multiplied with result 1 1 plus uh, second term multiplied with f sorry t raised to power n minus 1 this so i contains t raised to power n minus 1 i is basically your result which contains t raised to power n minus 1 to calculate the nth nth term all we have to do take f1 multiplied with uh, one uh, i11 one one and f2 multiplied with i21 and then add both of them and this would become the nth term or basically you can write it as fn and then we have to return the fn this should work uh, i'm not always sure most of the time i just compile and get bunch of errors i hope yeah this doesn't look very good but this is the question from a uh, hacker and fibonacci finding and these, these are the test cases so let's run the test cases one by one there are eight test cases first test case is two three one three the answer is three which is here let me make it a little bigger so here's the test case and here's the answer two three one answer is three two three one answer is three let's take the four test case which is giving us answer 178 in four test cases two four nine so 249 is giving result 178 so everything is going good just let's let's simply take our code and paste it 
in here let's run it so it is processing come boy and yep sample test case passes so let's submit it and yeah congrats we have solved the problem so i hope you have understood it that how you can solve a problem related to recurrence relation using matrix exponentiation if you had no idea about the matrix exponentiation solving this problem would have been too hard believe me because n can be as large as 10 to the power 9 and there are 10 to the power 3 test cases so it would have become uh, it would have been too hard to solve us without matrix exponentiation so i hope you guys have understood something from it and you will try this yourself there is one more problem which is much difficult than this one because it only depends on previous two terms and each time it would of course depend upon previous two terms but on spot there is a problem uh, in which there are t test cases and in each test case the n term depends upon previous k terms and k can be as large as 10 and in each test case k can be different so we have to dynamically define uh, this transition matrix here what we can do we can actually define transition matrix once and for every test case transition matrix would be same but there what it what would happen the transition matrix would not be same that would be change uh, that would be changing depending about the test case so that is a bit difficult more difficult than this one so in the next lecture we would be solving that problem and uh i hope you guys have learned something from it and if you guys think that yeah, the work that i do is appreciable and you can and you want to of course uh support it financially you can go and donate whatever you can so again the details are in description so thank you guys for watching until next video keep coding thank you and bye